Hi friends, welcome to a new video. In this lesson, I want to paint with you together a beautiful mermaid portrait. And the way we are going to do it is uh, using acrylics. I am going to paint this on a cardboard, canvas cardboard. This is the size of it. Just a square size. I find it very, very attractive for this portrait I am going to do with you. And we are going to paint, of course, a beautiful siren portrait. And for this, you're going to need the template I have done for you. Uh, I recommend you to transfer this onto a piece of paper, a thin one, if possible. I think it works much better if you use this kind of paper or you can as well use transfer paper you know like in art school this kind of transfer paper put it on your board and then and then transfer the image on to the board however you do it be sure you have the whole face there and the way I am going to do is, I am going to cut this off and then I will glue this on the board. This board is already painted. As you can see, I have put one layer of light blue one. The, the light blue one I used is the one you can buy by Jane Davenport uh, Art Supplies. Sorry, I have the etiquette. The etiquette is gone, but uh, this is a great, beautiful color for painting your mermaids, just in case you want to know. Of course, you can use any other brand you have as long as this is a light blue one for the background. One layer of this, I let it dry, then I add another layer and on the uh, outside of the square I have put a little bit of this kind of green one, blend them together as you can see and this is it. We let it dry for at least one night and then after that we're going to be able to glue or image on the board. This is the way I am going to transfer it. Um, I could draw the image on it, but as I said before, this is a canvas board and the surface is a little bit uh, tricky to paint on. You cannot feel this, but it is really a little bit hard to paint on with your with your marker or pencil so I decided I will glue the image on and the rest is going to be done using a acrylic paintbrush and acrylic paint so it doesn't matter the way you decide to do it is going to be fine as long as you have the face here in the center of the square okay Okay, after the image is painted, we are going to use a lot of assorted embellishment to make our beautiful Mermi looks even more wonderful. And look at these stones, the color is amazing. I love it. And this has as well assorted elements you can use to embellish your artwork. So I recommend you to do the same, to look for this kind of uh, embellishments. It's a lot of fun. I went to the one oil grocery store and this is what I found there. And uh, yes, they are very cheap. So go ahead and play like a child with, the, <laughs> with your imagination. Grab whatever you find as long as it is blue. So this is important, we are going to stay by these kind of blue colors and uh, this is going to be very, very beautiful at the end. I am so excited to get started and to open these wonderful, beautiful, cheap embellishments. I love to buy this kind of stuff. I am really crazy about this. <laughs> All right, so let's keep on moving. Hi, friends. 
All right, let's keep on working on this beauty. As you can see, I have already done the transfer. I have done just the cut off and then I glue it on onto my cardboard, canvas cardboard. Remember, I have put two layers of paint before. Let it dry and then do the transfer, okay? So, however you decide to do the transfer, be sure you have the lines there you want to 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 have and uh, it should be um, oh, oh my god you can you should work on it with acrylics so please use waterproof markers when you are doing this or a acrylic paintbrush and black acrylic and do the outlines however you decide to do it your image should be uh, waterproof so we are going to work over it with acrylics and this is the reason why okay this sh this should be waterproof I will be using this paintbrush this is a flat paintbrush number two and the smallest round paintbrush I have especially for the details for example the eyelashes or small lines you will see when I use it. You are going to need maybe another size of paintbrushes. It depends on the size of the doll you're going to be working on. But if you are using the same size as I do, uh, these are the paintbrushes. Number two flat one and a round one. A number one, it, it, I think, yes, number one or zero, however. And I will be working with acrylics. I will use the set satin or satin glazing liquid. Sorry, <laughs> so hard to pronounce for me. And this is a slow drying medium, especially for acrylics. This is going to allow you to work slowly and you are going to enjoy the process because the acrylics are going to stay a little bit longer um, fluid. So you're going to be seeing this uh, when I start painting, how how beautiful the paint is when you when when you do this uh, together. Okay, so this is a one of my favorite paints. I think I showed you this before. This is from ja Jane Davenport. Sorry, Jane Davenport, the teal or light blue one. And then I will be using the Artisa dark teal this is the darkest blue we are going to work with and I love this is my favorite blue color this is from golden acrylic and this is a teal one teal is the name of it okay and for the highlights at the very end I will be using um, sorry I will be using the white Artisa as well. So these are the colors I will be working with. At the end I will be adding as well some details. I will use my acrylic marker in black. If you don't have it, uh, go for a run paintbrush and black acrylic of course. And yes, here you have it. Work with similar uh, art supplies. If you have another brand, another color you like, go for it, okay? This is your lesson and you paid for it, so you have to enjoy the process. And especially, it is all about spending money as well. So if you don't have these art supplies, just go for what you already have. No need to buy new ones, okay? Just go for a pail of blue dark blue, light blue, um, middle blue, okay? All right, so these are the art supplies and let's uh, keep on moving.
Okay, here we are and we have already our palette ready to work. As you have seen, I have added a little bit of the golden medium to each of our paints. So this is going to, um, yes, work just fine. Remember, acrylic dries quickly if you live in a place or if you are working in a place where it's warm or hot. Hot weather makes the acrylic paints dry quick. And if you are in a, well, let's say cold uh, weather country, you are going to be able to work a little bit more slowly because the paints are going to stay longer um, ready to work, okay? So you're going to see me working from dark to light and I am going to go over the line as well because we're going to paint the hair later on with a black or maybe a dark blue color so it doesn't matter if you go over the line, okay? so. You, are, you can work free, you can put some nice music, drink a cup of tea or coffee, whatever you desire, and just enjoy the process. No worries if you go over the line, as I said before. And yes, let's keep on doing this.